Hi, I'm Camila. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm making a tutorial about Sailor Moon and how to draw her as Princess Serenity. I'm showing you from zero how to make this drawing. Uh, I hope you really like it and that you learn something and do let me know if you do. Let's go! First of all, make sure that your desk is nice and clean so you can have a very good start. Most of the times I would start with drawing the eyes, but um, right now I'm starting with the face and the shoulders first because uh, that makes it easier for me to see how much space she'll take on the sheet. Right, and let's start drawing the hair. I love drawing hair, as you know, it's my favorite part of a whole character. She has like this lovely dress. Okay, now that I've finished the details on the dress, let's go and start putting hair next to her face. What I wanted to do now is I want to have like a moon behind um, Sailor Moon so I'm just going to take a plate, I'm just going to turn it around and then make a nice circle for the background. Nice! Done! That's an easy way to make a very nice and lovely circle. Okay, next I want to do is like draw the crystal palace in the corner. It will be like small bit like shady behind like the cosmos and the stars so you don't have to be very precise but yeah you'll see <laughs> what you need is the shapes because it's gonna be like more one color with a couple of shades rather than the whole detailed building all right that's done uh, let's go to the crystal I'm just using like a pound to help me to draw the middle of the crystal And then what you're gonna do is make the reflections in the diamond. You can just play around with it, just make straight lines everywhere and let them go to the left to right, and kind of like a flower shape. And after that you need to start drawing even more lines just to make it look like see-through and that it's reflecting from all the sides. And this is how the drawing looks like, all made in pencil. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to erase a bit of the moon in the background just because if I'm going to paint over it, like it, won't, it will be very hard if you have paint and pencil underneath it. It's very hard to get like the pencil like to erase it. So I'm just going to make it a bit lighter so I can still see it, but like the paint will cover it and it will look like I could just make a round like that all by myself. As you can see, I just did it on a smaller scale just to see where I'm going with this. 
What I do first is I use water and then I add dark blue and after that I add dark brown to make it more greyish and I make two types of grey. For this technique you really need water colouring paper, I'm using um, hot pressed paper. So what I'm doing first is I'm putting water everywhere I want to draw. I'm using the thick brush to do the big parts and I'm using my thin brush just to outline the crystal. After that I'm taking a bit of paint and I'm just making little dots everywhere and as you can see the paint will just like go to the edges and it won't go further than that which is really amazing. And then again with my small brush I'm doing it everywhere where the tricky parts are. I'm just using toilet paper to dip it around a bit and do make sure to turn it around often enough just so you don't have uh, the same print on your paper. And this is how it looks until now. The moon is done, let's go and colour some crystals. With the crystal you just make a couple of pieces blue and then you let it dry and then you do it again with the same colour but you go over a couple of places just so it looks like it's darker. Let's move on to the dress. I'm going to use a little bit like purplish grey for the dress, like for all the shadows and I'm using blue greyish for the hair. Sailor Moon has all these little bits that are golden yellow. For the skin I'm using a bit of white, a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red. Mix it all together and then you have like a very light colour. So again I'm doing the same technique as with the moon. First I'm drawing everywhere with water so it stays out of the eyes and goes everywhere I want it to go and then I fill it up with the colour I just made. Alright, done! Let's move on to the castle. For the castle I'm just putting a bit of water on the dark blue paint and I put it directly on to the drawing because I want it to be kind of like dark. Later on I take a bit of white to um, contour the light shades and a bit less water so the blue paint is even darker to make the dark uh, shadows. This is how the drawing looks like without a coloured background. And now it's time to do the background. This is a very nerve-wracking thing because you, you can't touch anything in the foreground. Uh, but yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Again, I start with water first and then I start building up layers and layers and layers of paint. And I use my little brush for all the smaller parts. And then of course you want to add some stars because yeah, it's the cosmos, the galaxy, the universe of Sailor Moon. To make it all a bit more special, I'm going to use glitter. You take some glue and you put it on your drawing at different places. And then you just very gently take some glitter and you try and spread it all over the painting. Okay, and now really my favourite part, the lines. With this one, I'm literally holding my breath through this whole process. Like, it's so nerve-wracking, uh, but it's so satisfying when you get it right. <laughs> First, I make thicker lines for the bigger pieces of hair, and then I use my thinner pen just to make the lines inside. At a later phase I'm drawing all these smaller lines to the left or to the right so it looks like it's really like moving around. And this is really like the moment. 
most nerve-wracking bit, the eyes. I have a pen and it was the end of the pen and there was almost nothing coming out so it was like not doing what I wanted but anyway I got it right but please get a good pen because if the eyes don't work out then the whole painting is like uh -uh. Okay, we're almost done. At the end, when your painting is dry, don't ever do this if your painting is not dry because you will ruin everything. When it's dry, use your eraser and just get rid of all the pencil that you can still see. And of course, don't forget to sign your beautiful masterpiece. And this is the result. And good luck cleaning up your messy desk after hours of drawing, but I kind of like it. It's like cozy messiness. Anyway, this was my video for today. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. If you are going to redraw my drawing, please let me know uh, on Instagram by the hashtag LookCamilla. I'll be looking forward to it and I'll see you uh, next time. Bye! Oh, shock, yeah.